Hi, Wayne D. Kramer here, author of the Penny Pangolin series. Would you like to read a book today? Let's gather round. Okay, so today we are going to read from one of my latest books, Penny Pangolin Wants a Pet. On her most recent birthday, Penny Pangolin asked her parents if she could have a pet. They got her a plant instead. It's a good little plant, thought Penny. She fell in love with it. She wanted to make sure it stayed healthy and strong. She made sure it got enough fresh, clean water. She kept it nice and cozy beside her at bedtime. Good night, she whispered. She made sure it got lots of sunshine from her backyard. Whenever it was hungry, she was always ready with a new fly. She took her plant to the store. She took her plant with her to friends' houses. Sometimes her parents made the plant stay home. But it'll be lonely, Penny protested. One day, Penny walked with her plant through the neighborhood. She heard a loud noise from Mr. Weasley's house. Seconds later, a rust-colored streak dashed out of the yard. Mr. Weasley followed, shouting and swinging a broom. What was that? Penny asked. Mr. Weasley gave a tip of his flat cap. Good day, Miss Pangolin. Some kind of wild bear cat's been eating me prize-winning bamboo right out of me garden. Now it's ruined. Maybe it's just hungry, Penny said. It's a menace! Mr. Weasley replied. I'm going to catch that pesky critter, and then it's far away from here I'll be taking it. Penny thought Mr. Weasley might be overreacting. Sometimes he was quick to have a bad temper. Later, Penny arranged a tea party with her plant. It was a very quiet guest. When she played with her toys, the plant could only sit in silence. Penny's friend Edith was able to cuddle her rabbit, Hopsky. Penny couldn't cuddle her plant like that. The truth was, as much as she loved her plant, it just didn't make a very good pet. Can we please get a pet? Penny finally asked her parents. She waited while her parents talked about it. You've done a very good job caring for your plant, said her mother. We think you're responsible enough to help take care of a pet, said her father. Penny bounced on her tail in excitement. Yay! she cheered. But, but what, what pet should, should we get? get? They all said together. A monkey? asked her father. They climb too much, said her mother. A macaw? asked her mother. Too much squawking, said her father. A snake? asked Penny. No! both her parents said quickly. They just couldn't decide. While walking with her plant and thinking about pets, Penny saw something at the edge of Mr. Weasley's yard. It was the rust-colored creature that Mr. Weasley had chased off. He thrashed about in a trap, trying to free himself. The creature stopped moving and looked at her. On its fuzzy face was a desperate, pleading look. Penny felt sorry for him. She didn't think he looked like a menace. Mr. Weasley had called the little guy a bear cat. Well, you're kind of a bear cat. Penny said in a soothing voice. You're a red panda cub. Here, let me help you. But you have to promise not to be any more trouble for Mr. Weasley. Penny smiled, and the red panda remained still while she opened the trap. There, Penny said. The red panda cub sniffed at her scales. Now you can go home. But the red panda cub followed Penny home instead. He can stay for now, said her father. But he will have to leave if we find he has another home someplace. Okay, Penny replied. I think I'll call you Mookie, she said to the red panda. The cub twittered happily. Penny loved having Mookie at home. He was no longer any trouble for Mr. Weasley. He stayed nice and cozy beside her bed at night. Whenever Penny took care of her plant and did her chores, he was right by her side. 
At tea time, he was not very quiet, but he was a lot of fun. And Penny got lots of cuddles. Penny and Mookie were snacking on termite crackers when her dad came into the room. I found a red panda den just outside the village, he said. I think it might be where Mookie belongs. Penny tried to feel happy that Mookie would get to go home, but inside she felt like crying. Good night, Mookie, she whispered that night. Feeling sad, she sniffled until falling asleep. The next day, they took Mookie to the den Penny's father had found. No matter how much they tried, Mookie refused to stay anywhere near the den. He only wanted to follow Penny back home. One day, Penny's dad answered a knock on the door. It was their usual mail carrier, dropping off a package. I recognize that red panda, he said. He's been all over the village. Does he have a home? asked Penny's father. He's an orphan, replied the mail carrier. Penny's mom and dad looked at each other, then at Penny, and smiled. Penny wrapped her arms around Mookie and gave him a big hug. He's not an orphan anymore, she said. He's our pet. I hope you enjoyed that reading of Penny Pangolin Wants a Pet. For more Penny Pangolin content, be sure to subscribe to this channel with your notifications on. Until next time, my friends, have a pango perfect day.